Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, we are here in this very small breeding facility and this uh, property is actually very remarkable to me because uh, since we started vlogging on YouTube, we use this property as our demo farm. And in fact, we started from scratch, really from scratch, literally, because we don't have any boxes. We don't even have these concrete tanks before. But because of your health and because also of our income that has been generated out of our video, we were able to introduce improvements on this particular breeding facility. And as you can see, we already have here so many concrete tanks for our breeder fish. And before we used to utilize these wooden boxes, we are using the tarp and even this uh, light materials that we are using just to be able to breed our fish. The positive attitude towards our goal is really very important. That's what I have in my heart. I have to persevere no matter what it costs. And today we already have this big improvements. We have here flowers, they're flowering. And also, as you can see at the back, that's our room for editing purposes where our editor and videographer will uh, hold office every day. And these are a lot of improvements if we're gonna think back two or three years before. And I'm so thankful to our God for allowing us to have this uh, development. Of course, without His help, I can do nothing. And now let me give you an update about our breeding of this goldfish, this carp, even the mollies, and uh, this catfish. Since we started vlogging on YouTube, we were mainly talking about how to breed this ornamental fish. And we are revealing to you guys our secrets, how to breed this beta, how to breed this Japanese koi, this goldfish, and even breeding of these ducks, these chickens, these quails, these goats, and many others. And you can browse that in our previous videos and you will learn many things. But today our focus is not the breeding of this goldfish and the, the carp or the Japanese koi or the smallies as you usually witness, but we will talk about our success in breeding this catfish. We all know that this catfish can be a good alternative food for meat. Meaning that if you are having problems with your health, then you can go for the catfish. If you cannot anymore eat the meat, well, of course, you can consider the catfish because these catfish are the best alternative source of nutrients also instead of meat and it has low in cholesterol. So let me share with you something different because in our previous videos, we were talking about the hormones, which is instrumental for the success of our breeding. And these hormones are injected in the body of this catfish. Well, nothing is wrong with hormones. I personally have experienced that these hormones are also very effective when we are desiring to breed massively our fish. And many of you asked where to buy these hormones. Well, you can just buy this online. And you can also do a research about the dosage and this is what I did. But there is one thing that I would like to share with you. I have observed that the breeding of this catfish may be come successful even without these hormones. Yes, you heard it right. I have tried breeding this naturally. And maybe you will ask, what is that natural breeding? Well, this natural breeding is the same way of breeding our Japanese koi. We will just put the male and female catfish together and they will lay eggs so massively. And that's what I did. I really have produced plenty of this catfish now, which I am about to release to the mud pond that we have prepared. Well, we have tried growing our goldfish, breeding and growing our goldfish, and all other kinds of fish, the beta, the guppies, and it's lucrative. But I believe that this breeding of catfish is also comparable to breeding other types of fish because this is also in demand in the market because this is consumable you can eat this one and i have decided that we are going to load this thousands of fingerlings of this catfish to the mud pan that we have emptied in our last video well majority of you maybe have witnessed how we 
did the actual harvest of our goldfish and carp and uh, you suggested that we have to improve the system of harvest and I'm so glad and I'm referring to that particular pond. We will release this catfish to the mud pond and I would like to make an experiment because this catfish is also very instrumental in aquaponics or hydroponics. So we will use the catfish to grow our lettuces and other kinds of vegetables. That's what I have in mind. And if I'm gonna succeed, I will share with you our techniques. So going back into the breeding, yes, we can breed naturally. This is a good news to those who wanted to breed, who has that belief that it can only be bred by the use of these hormones. Forget that because we can effectively breed this uh, catfish even without using hormones only if you will observe three things number one we have to give nutritious food to our breeders and this nutritious food may come in a form of proteins meat of the animals you can do that you can give some chickens worms anything that will be eaten by the catfish and that will develop good eggs in their belly number two we have to separate the male and the female catfish you have to have a separate tank of your female catfish and another tank for the male catfish. The reason is that to maintain the eagerness to breed, meaning that if they will meet for the first time, they will really have that appetite to breed. You will no longer be needing the hormones because they are very eager to breed. And uh, when breeding your catfish, of course, like the Japanese koi, be sure that you are going to breed this during full moon or any other day as long as there is moon first quarter last quarter that's good and another thing that i have to reveal to you is a good spawning tank the good spawning tank will allow you to have high hatchability 30 to 40 percent hatchability is already very good why because this catfish lays hundreds of thousands of eggs and if they have laid 100,000 30 percent of that is 30,000 heads already and that's massive and you can start your farming about catfish. So these are the things that I have observed. So now let me take you to our breeding facility right at the back of the second branch of our pet store. Let's have a closer look at the fingerlings of this catfish. So guys, we are here at the back of the pet store. This pet store is located just in Barangay Tetuan. If you are here in our, on our place, you can just visit here. And uh, this is at the back where we utilize this place as our breeding facility for the catfish. And forgive me because all these tanks are just temporary because uh, we are set to make a concrete tank right here. And that's my plan for purposes of breeding Japanese koi and uh, other fish like this catfish and goldfish so you will understand now what i am talking about if you can see at my left this is the tank that is filled with fingerlings of this uh, catfish this has been bred naturally we don't anymore use the ovaprim and this is the milestone that we have so far achieved because anyone can just breed your catfish even without buying this hormone so you will see that there are plenty of fingerlings and this is what i said that if you will just find ways on how to solve the problems because i've been trying to be breeding as natural as i can and this is now the answer actually we have three boxes right here that are filled with uh, catfish and we are due to transfer this catfish to the mud pan and let me share with you our techniques on how to hatch this uh, catfish. So we will go near in this particular tank. So guys, we are just right here at the side of this tank. And you will see that this tank is just very shallow because it has a depth of around 6 inches. And it has a width of 1.5 meters by 2 meters. Maybe you will ask, what's the net? that we can see in the middle. What's the purpose of it? This is my egg collector, actually. And uh, we don't breed our catfish here. We breed our catfish right here in a more deeper tank. And we use this net as our egg collector. Yes, we put that net in order for this catfish to spawn their eggs on the net. And all those eggs that 
have stick on the net will be lifted up and will be transferred in another tank which is clean and this is the tank that I'm referring to after 24 hours you will observe that the fertile eggs are beginning to turn like a larva of the mosquito you will see wigglers of the scatfish and this stage is very crucial because all the eggs that are here that are spoiled will become now the source of the bacteria so we have to remedy this situation and how is to lift this net up because I presume that all the fertile eggs have already been hatched and all those that are not fertile are not hatched and still stick on this net so we will lift this up now and you will see that there are many spoiled eggs and we will do this very carefully just to make sure that we will not include or we will not stir up the water so that the hatchlings will not be affected okay so we will remove this net very gently and this is just an ordinary green net that I used to cover my mud pan there at the pet store this is it so we have successfully lifted this up from the water and you will see that there are eggs so many eggs right here see there are so many eggs and these eggs could not anymore be hatched because it's been 24 hours and uh, they are still stick on this net and their color is whitish so this is an indication now that these eggs are no longer be hatched so this is it we'll put this inside in this pail so this is now the tank that is filled with wigglers of this catfish and uh, this is very crucial as what I have said because you have to monitor the, the water the water management during this time is really very important well you know that catfish are really very hardy fish but if they have just been hatched from the eggs they are so sensitive and that is why I would like to emphasize that the use of methylene blue is also very important. I have here the methylene blue and this is my way of preventing bacteria to get inside in this tank. I will put some 10 drops of this methylene blue to protect the fish from the fungus because there are actually unhatched eggs, spoiled eggs that are here. For us to protect the fungus from developing or the bacteria, we will use this methylene blue and ensure that all this fish will survive. So after 72 hours, this fish will become big and very visible. They will start to swim and this is also very crucial because we might be tempted to give them food. No. We don't give food, especially live food, the Daphnia or the Artemia, please don't give because they will die. You will start feeding them when they are already freely swimming and that's on the fifth or sixth day. That's the time that we start feeding. And maybe you ask, what's the first food? I recommend the prawn feeds which we normally feed to the fry of this uh, Japanese koi. But if you don't have, the good thing is that they can be fed with boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs. So you will get the yellow one and feed them to the catfish. But we have to regulate because these unconsumed eggs will also become the source of the fungus or bacteria that will kill our wigglers of this catfish. So this is really very crucial. So now you will see the actual releasing of this catfish to the mud pan. We will catch this one and then we will release this to the mud pan and we will wait for how many months and then we will harvest this one. So guys, we're now finally finished catching all this uh, fry of this catfish and we estimated this to reach around 5,000. And let me tell you something about the care of the fry or the fry care, which is very important because there are those fry that will grow much bigger than the other siblings and we call this the shooter. And of course, we have to monitor the growth because if you will not, then chances are this fry that have grown fast 
compared to the other siblings will become carnivorous. They will eat the other which is smaller in size. So I have here some shooters. You will see the difference in size. I don't know if you can vividly see in the camera. But these are the, the shooters that we have to separate immediately. And one thing more that I would like to add is to feed the fry during night time. I, I can sense that they are really very active dur during the night and if they go hungry, they will start eating up each other. So this is the thing that I can share with you in the caring of the fry. So now we will bring this to the mud pan because this mud pan is really best for the grow out tank of this particular kind of fish. And I'm so happy because um, as what I have seen in other places, they were earning income out of breeding this catfish for food. This is easier to manage because they will survive in a poor water condition. You need not to have filtration system. You need not to have a very clean water for them to grow, but they are just growing in the mud. What is important is for us to have a good place for them, a bigger space for them, so that they will grow faster. And I will try also to raise them on a concrete tank and we will have a comparison between raising them in a concrete tank and raising them in the mud pan. And we will see the difference in growth and in the maintenance and also the expenses that we are going to and also the expenses that we are going to incur. As what I have promised you before, this is gonna be an integrated farming where we can learn together the do's and don'ts, the pros and cons, the negative and the positive. That is why I promise you to just stick around and we will learn this together. This is business actually. And this business would lead us to prosperity. I'm so glad reading all your comments because your comments have also inspired me a lot to do something better. And these are the things that propelled me to dream big because you are there to support me. So now we will go to the mud pan and you will witness the actual release of this very innocent fry of catfish in the mud pan. So come on, let's go. So guys, we are here and we are about to release this uh, estimated 5,000 fingerlings of this catfish. And as you will recall, uh, we made a good harvest out of this particular pond. And we are so glad because uh, despite of the presence of this snakehead fish that uh, devoured some of our fingerlings, we were still able to have a good harvest. And I am 100% sure that there are no predators that are here because we already made a clearing operation. We already have uh, made sure that this is gonna be free from predator fish. So now we are going to load some thousands of this uh, baby catfish. And uh, I hope that we will become successful. This is my first time to venture in catfish breeding and also catfish uh, raising because initially I just made a study on how to propagate this one and uh, since that we already have a good system, a good method on how to uh, breed this massively maybe this is the time that we're gonna raise this massively for consumption in the market So guys, we will have to make some tests if uh, this uh, water is good for the catfish. Of course, we have to do this because uh, we may we will my so we will just want to make sure that this water is not toxic for them. So I will make some tests. So I will release some of them here, and I hope they will not die. If this water is not toxic, they will. Uh, survive. I'm confident that this water is good. 
Wow, we have so many here. Oh, wow, see that? We already used the water from the pond and we will observe their behavior and it looks good actually. So they are not affected because if this is, if this water is toxic then uh, they would have died since uh, uh, we have put them here five minutes already. This is it. 5,000 of them. More or less 5,000. We did not have an exact counting of this because there are too many and this will stress them. That's why I estimated this, just an estimate of 5,000. Ah, these are plenty. See that? Wow. Of course, we have here oxygen. We cannot transport them or, you know, uh, take some chances. We'll use the oxygen. Okay. Wow. I'll put them here. Just right here. Oh. And by the way, we also had added some chicks to grow uh, to become our future breeders. We have added some 100 chicks right there in the elevated coop. So we will slowly release them. We are slowly doing this one and we will gradually release them in this very beautiful and uh, spacious place for them. So this is it. Arnel is uh, doing the right thing now just to acclimatize and gradually acquaint them with the new water. So since we already have uh, put them for a couple of minutes here inside this container using this new water and their behavior is just okay so now we are 100% sure that they are safe with this kind of water in this uh, mud pond and uh, I think this is best for them so we will now release them so this is my first time guys to uh, do these things and I hope we will become successful I'm looking forward also to integrate the lettuce farm and other vegetables using the catfish the hydroponic system and this is what I have in mind and I hope I just hope that you will be inspired also to do your own thing the farming is really the best thing to do because it eases your mind it gives you some hope and it gives you some relaxation if you are really into farming So guys, we have just released some estimated 5,000 heads or fingerlings of the catfish and we will wait for some time to witness whether or not they grow or they die. But I'm very positive that they will grow because this is already a conditioned tank for them and you will see their behavior. I hope, I just hope that they will not die and uh, maybe few months from now maybe three or four months from now if we will become successful then that's gonna be an exciting moment for us to witness the harvest of this kind of fish and uh, I hope you will continue to be inspired by this channel and you will continue to like and share our videos we're uploading videos every three to five days and if you are not subscribed may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our regular uploads only here at Dexter's World!